Alright guys, I thought I'd make a quick video on how to do a YouTube live stream with Google Hangouts so you can have guests. So first thing I suggest you do is open up a Google Chrome in your browser. Okay, um, other ones may not work and since Google Hangouts and YouTube are all Google products, Google Chrome makes sense to be the browser. Okay, I will go to my YouTube. Once you're in YouTube, make sure you are signed in to YouTube. Okay, you'll notice that by up here should be your icon showing. Drop that down and go to Creator Studio. Once in Creator Studio, go down to this side and find Live Streaming. Okay, now it says Stream Now. Right underneath that it says Events. Let's go to Events. There may be another way to do it, but this is how I do it and it works for me. Okay. You don't have any upcoming events, schedule a new event. Go over here, and it says new live event. Now, in this area, you would title it over here. This is just like doing a video, basically. Um, you can use the now feature. I have Dave's Reef Chat. I'm going to just change that. Let's just call it a Saturday night chat. Saturday night. Oh. Okay. Now, this is where it's important right here. It says type quick using Google Hangouts on air or try camera. Okay, but we're going to use Google Hangouts on air. Um, you can put your tags in so people can find your stream. But most important, right here. You want that to be public so people can come find it on YouTube. Unless you're doing a closed stream and you just want to invite people to your actual stream and you don't want it to be public, then you would keep it unlisted. But drop that menu down. The top one is public. And then last but not least, go live now. Now on my computer, when I hit go live now, it opens up a new Google Hangout window. ready to go you will now enter Google Hangouts on the air okay so see what I mean it opens up a, a new window instead of it in a new tab so what I like to do is drag the tab over and shorten it so it'll be about the size so I can see the chat that'll be on YouTube okay now in order to be on YouTube too uh, let me just note that we are not yet live streaming because we have something down here that says start broadcast. So until I click that, it's not going to show up. If you want to see what your YouTube side is looking like, your link will be right here. So you can click this and that will bring you to your YouTube. Okay. It says waiting for Dave's nanotanks. And then over here it's going to populate a chat. Okay, now it says top chat here. This is something newer where they have top chat and live chat. I suggest being the host that you be on live chat so you get all the messages going on in the chat. Okay, so if you wanted to type something to your friends, you would type down here just like when you visit a live stream. Now, here's some differences. Let's go over to the Google Hangout. So you can kind of see some things you can do over here. Okay. Um, up here you've got different settings. This is where you would pick what mic, what camera, and things like that that you're using. Um, a red phone, of course, leave the call. You don't want to leave your own live stream. Um, and then over here is where you invite people. Open that tab and you'll notice that you've got a link here. 
Now you can you can invite people by typing their name in here and invite them. That will make their phone ring or their Google Hangout device ring and they'll answer it and join your call. But what I like to do is copy this link. Okay. And that allows me to go over here and paste it right into the chat. So I would right click and paste it. I'm not going to do that yet. Um, so again, we haven't started yet. A couple of other things to know about in here. Let me close this. There's another chat within Google Hangouts. When you open that, it'll open up here and people can chat in Hangouts and not be seen on YouTube. Let's see, another thing we have is screen share. So right now, this is my camera and you can see me. But if I choose to share my screen, you could choose your entire screen and share it and then go off to YouTube, look at another video or show a product that you're talking about and that's how you would screen share. Uh, I'm going to cancel that. I'm not going to share. And then one of the more important things, there's some things in here, a cameraman app, but this control room, when you open it up, it'll show everybody that's in your hangout, not in your chat. And then you'll be able to give them different things. And this is where you could give another guest controls over the um, Google Hangout. See, and they would be able to pull this up. You can turn off somebody's microphone. You can adjust their volume. And the way you would give them controls is there'll be a drop down after their name. You drop it down and it says give controls or eject. Now eject's important too because if you somebody comes in and is creating trouble or you just don't want them in there anymore, you can from there eject them. And so can anybody who has controls they could also eject them. So that's why that's important. I'm going to close my control room. And let's start the broadcast. It will be a little odd with the camera here that I'm talking to more people. So start the broadcast. And I believe that's when people see it on YouTube. Okay, so it's starting. Okay. Google Hangouts is live on the air. So the first thing I like to do is copy this link, which I already had copied. And here, Bubba Sanobi. That's um, one of my moderators. First guy here. Um, guys, I'm talking to my camera, which is here. And because um, I'm kind of making a video on how to do a live stream. But I'll be with you guys in a minute. Another important thing to do is to, uh, well, let me finish putting this link in here. Let's put that. So, yes, you want to make sure that you mute your YouTube when you're on a live stream as well. Because otherwise, there's a time delay and there will be a lot of interference. So, as you can see, once the live streams get going, if your channel has a decent following, or you're on a subject of interest, you will soon fill up your live stream and people will be in your Google Hangouts talking about anything and everything related to the subject. And sometimes it gets off subject, but that's okay. But I thought I would go over a few more things. Um, basically the three dot thing that we have here. Okay, three dots. Now, if you're just watching and you're not even a moderator, those three dots are still there and they will enable you to go to the channel and report somebody for a bad comment. So if you feel offended by their comment, you need to have a good reason, but you can report them. Um, the go to channel feature is great. You see a new YouTuber channel and you'd like to subscribe, you just go to their channel. It's going to leave the um, live stream window open and just open a new tab. Now, once you're at their channel, you can go to their subscribe, hit their bell, so forth. I'm using Reef Girl here for an example. And if you're if you're into reef keeping, and you're not subscribed to Reef Girl, you should give her a look. She's got great content. So you can do whatever you need to do here, and then go back. Now, if you're a moderator for a channel, and you open up this, 
you will see everything except, I believe, add moderator. Only the host can add a moderator to his own channel. But you'll be able to hide this user on the channel. Now that's an important one for somebody causing trouble. Okay, so you can hide them from the channel and they will no longer be able to um, leave comments on your videos or in your live streams. Now, because I'm showing a replay right now, I don't have the other option, which is put user in timeout. Now, when you put your user in timeout, that person will not be able to type in the chat for, I think it's, it's 500, is it 500 seconds or something, 300 seconds. I forget what it is. It's about five minutes that they won't be able to chat. So that's a little slap on the wrist for somebody um, if you don't want to hide them from the channel. And the other thing that was there was remove. And that's just to remove that comment. So if you didn't like a particular comment, you could remove it. Or if you put a link to, say, the live stream in there, you could leave it up there for a couple of minutes and then remove it. So those are your uh, options there. And speaking of Reef Girl, let's add her as a moderator. That's something I can do. Go down here, click. She's now a moderator on the channel, and now you will see her name in blue with a blue wrench after it. And the blue wrench means moderator. Okay. Now, as a moderator, you can do everything, like I said, except add a moderator. But in uh, let's talk about Lisa's Aquatics as a moderator. She's a very good moderator. She says hello, greets almost everybody who comes in the chat. She has a good rapport with everybody. She's a moderator on many channels. And uh, she's also got a nice channel. She does fresh water and salt water. So if you're into either one of those, take a look at her channel. But another thing that she does for me, in the, if I'm talking about a subject, she will drop a link to that subject, whether it's somebody's channel, a particular piece of equipment, um, a lot of my mods are good, but Lisa's the hardest working one. And uh, so that's just something about the, the moderators. So have some good moderators because once you get a full house in your Google, um, what do you call it? <laughs> the Google Hangouts, once you get a full house in there, you may miss some stuff in the um, YouTube chat. So it's important. So I think that's basically all you need to know to run a live stream. And um, sometimes the links don't work from certain devices. So I drop a link for the live stream into the YouTube chat and it may not work. So we can shorten them with bit.ly.com and put that link in. But sometimes it just takes sending that person an email, copying that link from the Google Hangouts and sending that link in an email and that'll usually get them in so that should cover everything thanks for watching and see you next time